Hello and welcome to a trusted tackle tip tutorial on how to build a two up one down glued rig. Great rig for bream fishing. Um, it's uh, got a long flowing snoods and uh, trace. And we'll start by tying the, the top clip. Uh, the knot I use here, I've used many a time and it's one of the tutorials on Trusted Tackle Tips YouTube channel. The next job is to fit the microbeads and swivels. So it's microbead, swivel, microbead, and then repeated three times. These microbeads are very, very fiddly. Um, it's, I, I, I tend to have to roll them in my fingers to try and find the hole before threading it on. What I have done in this uh, tutorial is I've, I've speeded up the repetitive tasks and later on where we, 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 uh, we're tying three of the same snood. I might, I'll only display it once, trying to keep, keep the video short as possible for you. When tying on this uh, lead clip, must remember to take the uh, the little plastic boot off of the clip and thread it onto the line first. So once we tie the clip, we can then bring the uh, the boot back over. And we're going to tie this clip on using the same knot again. Again, we've got a tutorial show how to tie this knot. Very simple, very strong, reliable, even with fluorocarbon, which is what we'll use on the, the snoods. Now we've got the trace done, it's time to get prepared for, for gluing those microbeads in place. So I'm using um, a, a, a rig stand, rig maker's uh, tool, um, plenty of these available online, different, different types, they all do the same thing, which is hold the line um, taut for you while you uh, glue the, the microbeads. So I start by tying the, uh, or pushing in the two ends, the, the lead end and the mainline end, and making sure we've got a microbead, a swivel, and a microbead on each of those ends. And then I fasten those in, which just leaves the, the two microbeads and the swivel with the middle. And the way I find the middle is I'll run those two lines down between my fingers, I'll get to the end, and then I'll bring that back up. That's the middle of the line. And I'll push that into the, the holder. So what we have now is the, the swivels in the right place for one at the top just below the mainline clip, one in the middle, and then one at the bottom near the lead clip. 
and that's that, that will give us the two up, one down configuration. So we start with the, the micro bees being about a centimetre away from the, the swivel and we use our rig glue and we put a, a, a drop of that on the line and push the micro bead over the drop and what that does is because the micro beads are, have the, the hole about the same diameter as the, the line it via sort of a capillary type action sucks the glue under the bead and, and fixes it in place. I'll uh, try and zoom in on this next bead and um, give you an idea. Hopefully you can see see that, that, that glue being sucked under the bead. And what this gives us is a very strong holding of those beads. Um, probably as strong, if not stronger than the actual line itself. We need to glue all six beads in place and then we can set it aside to dry while we build, while we build the snoods. For the snoods, I'm using fluorocarbon. Um, one of the properties of fluorocarbon, uh, as well as it being a, a, a tough material, is it's, it's virtually invisible when it's underwater. And I'm tying the chinu hooks, uh, which are a great hook for, for bream, using a, a modified snell knot. And uh, you can you can see how to tie uh, that, that knot on another of uh, Trusty Tackle Tips' uh, knot tutorials. Now the next step is to add a uh, flotation bead. Uh, these act as bait stops as well. Um, it's your choice whether you, you fit these or not. You can you can have uh, one, two uh, per snood or none at all, depending on uh, how much you want the, the, the bait to be lifted up, how strong the tide is. The aim is to try and get that, that bait to, to flutter a bit, to lift up um, and tempt those bream in. That's the one snood done. Repeat it another two times, and then we're ready to tie those snoods onto the, the, the trace, um, which, as you can see here, dangling away, it should all be nice and dry and, and, and pretty strong. So when tying the snood, the first thing I do is actually run the snood line along the trace from, from the, the, the top swivel, just to make sure that that snood is not too long and it's not going to interfere with the, the next one down. So we tie this on using the my old favourite knot. And we repeat again for the, the center snood. And then the last one is just above the, the lead. This one, we don't have to worry so much about the length, obviously, because it hangs below. It's the one down. And that's it. That's a two up, one down glued rig. Great for me, Bream. If you've enjoyed the video, please, please do like and subscribe. Until the next time, bye.